speaking of blackberries and technology and well not back to school really <laughs> but um uh robotics and the uh, wires and the engineering we got my good friend carlet here Robotics. It's tech time, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, good <laughs> Robotics. morning. How you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well. And for Francois, who I know is listening, and for the listeners that love to hear it, hey, Francois! <laughs> you know, I was wondering, I always listen to it, I love to hear it. And I was kind of like, well, she can't really do that with the young cuff. It doesn't sound the same. So <laughs> you're allowed to go ahead and do one for Francois. I'll just uh, sit back and, and enjoy see, what it. What will I do for young cuff? I will start with Bobo. Bobo Skiwatton. There you go. She just made my day. I tried. She just tried. made my day. Uh, we, we can we can stop now. We, we can, can we can turn turn it all off. We don't have to you talk know, anymore. That's good for you. But for hundreds <laughs> of thousands of listeners, we're going to tell them about back to school websites and how it is that they can get homework help because a lot of kids are in cars right now uh -huh. on their way to orientation, heading to school today. I'm very disappointed about the traffic, but I'm really happy that our populace is being educated. And if you want to learn how it is that you can get some help online, we have it for you right now. Okay. Yes. Well, help with what exactly though? Is it just? Everything. Uh, if you want to be preparing assignments, you want to prepare for exams, you want to do research, you want to learn more, these websites will guide you. And we have some international sites and we have some local sites as well. And I'll start with the international sites. And by the way, don't worry, you don't have to necessarily pull over the car. You can get all <laughs> you can go right the blog. <laughs> don't, don't, you don't have to stop and write. No, no, you know, you, you'll hear about You can check the blog later on you and find it, right? You can check the blog right okay. now, actually, and find it. Because I post it before I come in. Just okay. to make sure. Right? So the first site <laughs> I want to talk to you about is homeworkspot.com. Great site. Homeworks. Spot. Yes, it's got it covers multiple subjects for everybody from kindergarten to grade twelve. It's a, a US based site, but not because it's US. Education is still education. The information is there, it's very helpful, well put together, good site to visit. Okay. Homework spot. Yes. Now, people have a lot of problem with math, myself included. I am definitely not a math brain, which I, hmm. I know all the people coming out of campaign like myself are embarrassed that I've said that, but you know, <laughs> fact. So if I need math help, I would go to hotmath.com. Now, it's specifically de directed to math, and it covers everything from algebra to geometry to calculus to all of that, trigonometry. Well, what exactly do you find on these sites? You have like an online tutor, or you just have like... Uh, equations that pop up in front of you, you have to try and solve them. For this site, it does have video that will walk you through an equation, which is really cool. But for right. the most part, what it has is simple, clear explanations and guides that you can follow and understand everything it is. Okay, because like. us us math geniuses that went to Monroe, we know that you know you have to practice all the time. So the more equations you get, the more you can look and and, and do it over. You know, as we know, our, us Monroe geniuses, right? You know, we're fine. So I'll give it up to the Monroe people because yeah. I know a lot of Monroe people, but. And, and you know, teachers everywhere are going to be stoning me in the streets for this. But how often have you used a quadratic equation since leaving school? <laughs> wow! Um, for the sake of Mr. McLean, who might be listening right now, I did. I did one last night. I was trying to find out some stuff, and I I, I had to use it. I'm, I'm lying. No, I didn't. Is, <laughs> when the lightning strikes, it's gonna be. I haven't used a quadratic equation in years. In years. Yeah. That's the and, and the thing about the moving particle and, and truck tracking velocity, I've never seen a particle flying at me that I had to work out the velocity. So, ha ha, Mr. McLean, I didn't need it. I didn't need it. But go on. <laughs> what else do we have? We have yourhomework.com, which is really good, but it, it's a paid site. So when you get that premium service, when you pay money for it, you're going to get much better information. You'll be able to collaborate with other students online. And it's a safe environment for students. If you're a parent, you don't need to worry if your child is on the site. They vet everybody and everything, so there are no pedophiles. So do you get to post your homework there and somebody else does it? Yes, you No. <laughs> yes, you can post your homework there and other people review it. Yes, teachers. Review your homework? Yes. Oh, yes. so the, the homework checking thing, because the parents these days can't keep up with the information that's coming. Busy. That's right. They're watching CNN and getting home that's, for their second job late and things like that. So That's a really good homework. site. Yes. Yourhomework.com and teachers can also post your homework so if you're sick and missing from school you don't necessarily have to call a friend your teacher can set up a little user group and then you can go and download your homework which is pretty cool that's well. pretty cool let's jump to the local sites because I know we're running short on time uh -huh. gogsat.com is in partnership with the Gleaner company and Youthling and it has everything to do with GSAT everything that you need of course you have to pay for it Okay. Well, as, uh, <laughs> in life comes free. The overseas sites, uh, most of them are free, but the ones down here we have to pay for. Because it's specialized information. Right. You know, and it is compiled specifically for GSAT. I never did GSAT. 
because I'm really old. But I would imagine that as, it is as am I. G sad. What's that? G sad. G sad. Never heard of that thing. Exam. Common entrance exam. Common entrance exam. Mental. Anyway. And then there's Homework <laughs> Jamaica dot com. Of right. course, they have CXE pass papers and things like that. Where you can go on and test it and see what works for you. Now, just going back to the G, the the Go G sad website. Mm -hmm. Um, you said it's paid. It's obviously a credit card thing, right? Yes, you have to pay by credit card. They accept Mastercard and Visa. It's hundred and fifty dollars for an annual subscription. You can get a month or six months if you don't have the hundred and fifty US dollars. Oh, 150 US dollars. US I was about to say that 150. That's, that's not yeah, bad. Yeah, as a, as a <laughs> that's not bad. You know, I love being and all, but as a little disappointed, I wouldn't accept the local key card. Right. As well, but <laughs> they will accept the Mastercard. The card. <laughs> go figure. That's pretty so, cool. You can go online. You can find sites that are specific to a subject. And I have a tip. I think that if you're in a class with some students, you have a group. Put together your own Google group, or you know, you can use a number of different sites to put together all of your information online that you can access. Right, mm -hmm. that's that's very good information. That's yeah. that's very good tips too. Okay. Um, I have a personal question for you because I had this problem back in college, and it was the reason why all my essays were ninety nine as opposed to a hundred. Mm -hmm. Referencing, mm -hmm. um, you know, the APA and uh, the whole argument with uh, plagiarism and that kind of thing. Yep. So a lot of people, I mean, they kind of skim it through quickly when you go to college, you know. Don't plagiarize. Don't blah, 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 blah. But they don't really explain to you how it works and where to do it properly. Do you have good sites for that too? You know, I would research that. I didn't research that before the show, but it's true. You have to be very careful with plagiarizing. You have to cite your sources. And at the university level, most certainly, they have software that can pick up when it is that you're plagiarizing. Mm. So don't <laughs> think it's some obscure source that your teacher won't know. I just figured, yeah, if you, if you move the words around a little bit, you kind of, you know, they can't pick up certain things, but they do. They can pick it they up. They can pick it up. But advanced software and that. So I'm going to find sites to help you not plagiarize. I mean, I words. didn't. <laughs> I didn't yeah. plagiarize. I mean, I'm just trying to say for those You're people out there, the yeah, the yeah, other people. I appreciate that, it. And I love getting homework going on. on yeah, well, time. I mean, you know, and if there's anything else that anybody wants to ask about these websites mm -hmm. or more, they can they can um, actually text in right now, or mm -hmm. they can go on the blog spot. Is they that right? can text in to eight seven eight F A M E, which is eight seven eight three two six three, and I'll answer the questions later on. Okay. They can post a question to the blog, which is trivial on fame dot blogspot dot com, and you know, if they're just lazy and they want to watch the video. They can log in and watch the video later on. Because we're going to be on the internet. We're going to be on the internet? Yeah, you and I. I'm being filmed right now. You're being shot right if now. If I had known, I wouldn't have been picking my nose. <laughs> you need to let me know these things before. You see, I could have edited it. No, but now that you've told everyone, I can't edit it. Come on, you're the tech person. You can get me. I can, uh, find a way. can you can you manage to get all the blotches and everything and make me look nice and? You look handsome. You need oh, to. Oh, now I see why Francois loves you so much. <laughs> Carla, thank My you very pleasure much. My pleasure to be here. And you're going to be around for a while just in case you have any more questions That's about right. these websites Only or anything to do, week. right? We're going to be doing phone etiquette next week, so I thought it was appropriate that I would call in and do the show. Phone etiquette? Yes. Will you be calling from your Blackberry? Naturally. You have a Blackberry? But of course. <laughs> <laughs> and an iPhone. And an iPhone. Mm. <sighs> That's a whole other show. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of started off. I got my Blackberry, so, you know, iPhone thing. It looks good, but... Uh, it's so much fun. I'll give you some private lessons. Okay. You heard it best from Carla a while ago. Time on Fame is now 8.22.